Hey knights, wanna hear a joke? What do you get when your war bear has no teeth? You get a gummy war bear. Get it? Gummy bear? Gummy war bear? Ah, you'll laugh tomorrow. Welcome back, knights. It is Battle Beast with Carbon Knights. We have episode 3 of the Beginner's Guide. Uh, we are looking at, today, the Water Fairy. The Water Fairy is, of course, the second monster that you get when you start the game. Um, she's got some cool skills, a couple of them when you start, but let's look at her awakened form, just so you get an idea of what she may become. Uh, we're not at the point of farming essences yet from the Kairos dungeon, that comes a little later, but it's always good to look down the road a bit in the game. So, uh, when you awaken her, she becomes Alucia or Alucia, whatever you can do your own pronunciation, I won't judge you. Maybe a little bit. But, uh, let's look at her skills. So, first skill. Attacks the enemy with a Whirling Storm of Water, freezes the enemy with one turn uh, with a 20% chance. Pretty pretty awesome. That 20% goes up with uh, skill increases. If you uh, sacrifice or feed other uh, fairies to her, the second skill is their heal. And that's really what her role is on your team as a healer. Uh, it's Purify. It recovers the target's HP and removes all harmful effects. The recovery amount is proportionate to your attack power. That's important. Uh, so when we choose our runes, we're going to want a little extra attack one way or the other. Um, and third skill that will only be available once you awaken her is the Sleep Spell. And it puts the enemy to sleep for two turns. Effect is removed if the enemy is attacked. So what that means, if you put the enemy to sleep and you get the, the red square debuff with the little white Z's in it, and the enemy's sleeping, it's best maybe not to attack that monster again. The monster can <clears throat> uh, stay asleep, and then it loses its turn, or misses its turn, so you might as well attack somebody else, unless you really want that monster dead, and it's close to uh, it ending its life. So, it's, uh, it's not as good as the stun skill, not quite as good as the freeze skill, but still useful if you're not autoing, and you're just paying attention, and you, you catch it, you use it, you get the, the sleep, and then you hit another monster, just let that one miss its turn. So, let's look at our Water Fairy. Here she is. So, keep in mind guys, I just got level 12 right before we started this video, and I still haven't gone past the second campaign level. Uh, primarily because I've been farming uh, the boss uh, for energy runes on uh, hard mode in the first level. But, um... I can still show you guys effective ways early on in the game when you can only get fatal runes here and energy runes. Those are the only two runes I can get other than buying them from the magic shop, which again, not always the worst idea, but it's, it's best to save your mana if you can, unless there's something you can't pass up. Uh, but, but yeah, so fatal energy is a good build for the water fairy early on when all you can get is the first couple of runes. Blade's not necessarily a good idea because crit damage or crit attack, she's not an attack monster, so it's not really, damage deal is not really what we're after. We're after her staying alive, we're after her healing the team and uh, removing those debuffs that with her purify skill. So what I've done, went with the fatal, I went with a four set because you need four fatal runes to uh, get your attack buff of 35%, so we got that. And I went with the remaining two energy runes, because one, that's all I can get, and two, more HP on a healer or a tank or any monster is not a bad idea. So what do we do for rune selection? Well, remember, rune one, always going to be flat attack, but I went for some HP substats. She's going to be able to stay alive longer. In slot two, I went with attack percent. Now, one thing I want to stress, guys, in these beginner guides uh, videos, these two star runes, and even if you see me use a one star rune, or even sometimes three star runes, there are so many better runes when you get four, and really five, and really six star runes later, that you shouldn't be upgrading these low level runes that much. Like, to level six, and to level nine, with a really good three star rune. You know, it's tempting because it's all you have sometimes, is these, these three star runes, and you need that monster to just to be a little stronger to maybe get that next level in the Kairos dungeon or beat the next uh, campaign level in, in the single player. But I don't want you guys wasting mana. I'm just showing you what's the right setup. That's what I'm trying to get across. I don't want you wasting money because, ooh, Battle Beast said 
This rune was good, so I'm going to plus 15, my 2 star attack percent rune. Don't do it. Anyways, back to the rune slots. So slot 2 I went with attack percent, and I went with attack percent because when your monster's stronger, those flat stat runes, an attack flat stat in 2 would be a bad idea. Attack percent I went for because I didn't have a speed rune, which you could use here, it wouldn't be wrong. You also could use an HP percent rune, but I want at least one of my slot 2, 4, or 6 runes to be attack percent because I need a little better heal and two of the other slots being uh, HP percent which is what we'll get into is what I have her on she has enough HP so with fatal runes and one attack percent rune her heals get better and she still has enough HP to stay alive and that's kind of the balance that I struck and she's really good for me being only just level 12 like I said I got right before this video so um, slot 3 guys Always defense flat stat. Uh, I got a bonus of 3% as a secondary main stat. It won't change, that defense will never go up, but hey, it's there. And I got speed when I plus 3 this rune, uh, which is good. Speed helps every monster out. Slot 4, I went with HP percent. Now, again, I wish this was a 3 star rune, and it will be a 3 star rune. Depending on your teams and how the or how hard the levels are you're facing, you could go with attack percent again. That wouldn't be wrong. Um, but it, it's really, I want my healers to stay alive and I want them to have speed. It's really a balancing act. And like I said, if you had another attack percent here, wouldn't be the wrong answer. But it would depend if you had speed on slot 2 or not. Slot 5, guys. HP is flat, always on slot 5. I got an extra bonus, 5% uh, attack, which is good for her heal again. So that went on to her. And then I got a 2% defense when I plus 3 this room. Um, defense is not wrong, it doesn't hurt her, but again, it would have been nice to have HP or attack for her, because those are two main roles, staying alive and healing. And on the final slot 6 room, HP percent, again, keep her alive. And I got a little speed here, which was really nice. So, again, if you uh, wanted to go all energy runes, you could as a new player. And uh, all you would want, though, is maybe slot 2, 4, or 6. You'd want two of those to be attack percent, because you don't have the fatal buff that I'm getting here with these four fatal runes. Try not to put three fatal runes and three energy runes, guys. That's such a waste. It might be all you have, but it's not a bad idea to go farm the the bosses to get better runes and we'll do that right now in some gameplay to show you how my uh, water fairy performs so we go to the battle here and Garen Forest and what, like I said I've been farming the boss with my little team here so I've got a water Inugami drop because you can get them from any of the levels by beating them and I got one the first time I beat the, the boss on hard mode and so his leader skill is uh, increasing the attack speed of all water monsters. And that's cool, whereas the resistance was increased with the fairy's leader skill. But let's just get into it and see how she does. All water monsters um, will be doing, uh, what's his name, Royd, the Wind Vagabond, next video. And we'll bring him in here too, because you see we're facing water monsters. Royd, the, water mo or the wind monster, would have advantage over the water monsters. So let's uh, slow that down so we can see. So two of these monsters, or even three, the other three monsters, the Water Inugami, the wolf there, uh, Megan, the Water Mystic Witch, and the Water um, Knight there, Magical Knight, she has no runes. All three of those monsters have no runes on them, and they're still able to beat these guys on hard mode with this healer. So, let's see, we're getting to the point where I could heal my Water Mystic Witch. So we'll just slow it down here, guys. And we'll, we might actually clear this before I get a chance to show you the heal. Oh no, here we go. So now let's see how much healing she does. 1,212 healing. Over 1,000 hit points returned to your, to your monsters with... Uh, with your water fairy's heal. That's pretty good. And you saw those runes. There were two stars. But the make the makeup with four fatal and two energy bringing up the attack a little bit and the HP a little bit. And then some of those attack substats 
And like I said, if you put another attack percent rune on uh, one of those slots because you were confident that your uh, fairy could stay alive, your heal would be even more potent. It would be it would be really good, and it would help your third skill when you awaken her for how much damage it does. So now no runes. So my water mystic witch did uh, faint there, but that's okay. Look at the water fairy keeping everybody else alive. And I wish I could show it now. See this debuff? I'll pause this so I can explain. Oh, it's gone. But that that red debuff, if I was to heal uh, herself with her heal skill, it would negate that effect and dispel it. It would be gone. And then the defense breaks, which that was, would be no longer apl apl applied. And uh, it helps your monster stay alive. So that heal skill is really important. A couple unknown scrolls. It's nice. So yeah, guys. Um, Let's talk real quick before I end the video about ways you could ruin her later. Now I went through the um, the uh, monster debate and the player reviews and I didn't find any of them that would let me show you another good build and I don't have any on my main account because I, I moved past them where they I had other healing monsters that were more useful later in the game. But um, what we will talk about, I'll try to explain here, is later what other builds real quick you could do on her. So, Fatal's always good, a good idea for her because of the attack buff. Um, Swift could be really good. Uh, so it's kind of covered up here, but four Swift runes, it increases your speed by 25%. So I think her speed is, yeah, 103. So you'd get about a 26. Um, depending on how they round, 25 or 26 percent point add to this, so your speed would be, a, you know, 128 or 129, whatever, depending on what they give you. Um, so, oh, sorry, I did my math wrong. No, I didn't. I did my math right. Anyways, so that speed would give her more turns, and she would be healing more often and able to take those debuff. Uh, uh, We've written all their debuffs, take them off your team uh, more often, and that would really help you in arena defense um, in any of the scenarios where the enemy monsters hit you with debuffs. And just a couple swift runes and a couple energy runes is a, is a decent build later when you get the right ones with the attack percent and the HP percent that you need on her. Um, some other uh, builds you could do is maybe Fatal Focus, and the focus runes increase your accuracy, which your third skill, remember when you awaken her, and you get this sleep spell. Putting the enemy to sleep benefits uh, its, um, what do you want to call it, its success rate. If your accuracy is higher, you have more of a chance to beat their resistance and put them to sleep, because sometimes it won't always work. So you could do that. Um, you know, uh, I wouldn't put despair runes on her. Uh, because it's a stun increase and she doesn't have any skills that attack all of the enemies at once or that hit more than once it's really would not be effective uh, endure I wouldn't necessarily do because her leader skill already buffs resistance and um, there are more important things in my opinion than resistance on on your monsters early game um, what else? Is there anything else that maybe... Where'd you go? Runes? No, that would pretty much be it. Even all the way to the end game, you don't see much variation from that. Um, you might see some nemesis, but people, when they get nemesis runes, they're not putting it on their water fairy. They've got other monsters, but, but really, focus on your attack, focus on your hit points, and focus on your speed. Those are the three main ones. After that, maybe you're looking at some defense. <clears throat> Excuse me, some defense. But you should maybe look for that in your substats and accuracy in your substats. But uh, that's how I would recommend you do it, guys. Uh, if you have any other points, put them in the comments below. And I hope you learned a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. Uh, keep updates on the channel coming your way. But the episode four is going to be the Wind Vagabond, Royd and we'll show how you could ruin him to make him effective. Hope to see you then, and enjoy the rest of your summoning. Let's see, we have 20 Mystical Scrolls, one Light Dark to do. That should be awesome. Let's do 10 Mystical, one Light Dark, and then finish off with the rest of the Mysticals. 
All right, right into it for scroll lightning immediately. How about that, huh? Chase soon talk about one of the best healers and the best four star monsters you can get. An amazing healer. Let's highlight this third skill real quick. Balances the HP. I just wanted to show that real quick because what that does is it just trades. So if one HP green bar is low and one's high, it just equalizes them out, adds a little bit, but it it's not subjected to the, the uh, debuff of unrecoverable, which is the red square with the white cross, which means you can't be healed. This is not a heal, it's an HP.